jam is around the corner and you don't feel so confident in physics i get it that was exactly how it was for me when i was preparing for the 2024 jam examination but guess what i managed to score up to 95 in the 2024 jam physics and that only happened because of certain things i started putting into consideration which i'm going to share with you in today's video hello guys my name is oba benita and in this video, I'm going to share tips that helped me score 90 plus and that's also going to help you score 90 plus in this year's jam examination. The first and the most important tip is to change the way you see physics. You cannot go into studying physics if you don't appreciate the whole idea of physics. I understand that physics is this kind of stiff, boring um, subject. Me, I did not like physics, but I could not learn physics. I couldn't have gotten that score if I didn't start appreciating physics more and, you know, seeing it in a better way, not seeing it as a a topic that, a subject that is unlearnable. Physics is learnable. It's just for you to put your mind to it and you know how you can put your mind to it. Stop growling at physics. Stop frowning your face at physics and start loving the subject more. You cannot, I cannot tell you to start reading if you do not start appreciating physics first. The second tip, and this is where the work comes in, is to study the material the smart way. Hear me, study and do not read. Physics is not like biology that you can read, you have to study it. Now let me break down the study of physics. How exactly are you going to study physics? The first way is to study every topic from the beginning. Let's say you want to learn about Archimedes principle. Don't just go to Archimedes principle if you don't have a, a background knowledge on what the whole concept is. Don't just go straight to Archimedes principle. You have to go to the origin of the topic, which is density, because you cannot understand Archimedes principle if you don't understand density. So if you're learning physics, start every topic from the beginning and understand every concept because um, physics is arranged in orders. Even the, the content, the content of your physics textbook, you'll find that the first topic that you need to learn is the fundamental and derived units. You cannot just go to SS3 work without learning SS1 work. It's impossible. So any new topic you you are learning, don't skip anything. Everything is important and learn it from the beginning till the end. And the next one is to actively participate in whatever you're studying. Let's say you're studying um, real, um, density. You've read to a certain level and you now know the, um, the formula for density. And you see a question. Why not try solving that question first by yourself before looking at the textbook? You know, actively participate. Don't just read. You know, study, do calculations, try guessing things, you know, before you look at your book. And all these things is going to help you boost your performance in the jump physics. And finally, use don't joke with revision questions because the person that wrote the, um, the textbook, he knows why he put those revision questions. They are there to test you if you really understand that topic. When you're done with a topic, at the back, they always leave questions for you. Don't joke with them. Make sure you do each and every one of it. When I was preparing for jump, I did not joke with it. In my earlier years, when I hated physics so much, I would just sit and, you know, pass it by. But during the jam time, I knew that I needed to step up. So I started taking those um, revision questions seriously, doing it. And anyone I didn't get, I would, it would require me going back, you know, to find it out. And if I can't find it out, then I will probably search it somewhere online, you know. The last tip for this video is to practice active recall i've mentioned this in my previous videos and that is to show how serious it is it is even scientifically proven what do i mean by active recall again whatever you're doing this is just a practical meaning of that i'm giving you anything you're doing you know just carry your book in your head you know carry your book in your head let's say you're washing your plates you're washing your clothes anything at all think back at those things you read can you remember it can you recall it you know Act, activate your brain stress your brain to think you know if you can rem remember those the song or the songs of all the musicians then you can remember the physics um, equations you can remember the physics concepts test yourself if you can remember it when you're not studying at all don't be with your test we'll just be asking yourself questions do i remember what density is okay ask me this principle what is it okay what is the principle of rotation it is this it is that you know 
all these things is going to boost your learning and boost your performance you know even your past questions as you're studying it you could just remember a question you know and you know even calculate with your brain in your brain you know and all these things to boost your performance literally scoring 95 in physics wasn't by luck it was I, I had to put in the work, you know, and you can only do that by studying the right way. Remember, practice active recall, do revision questions, study like, study from the beginning, understand every concept. You cannot understand by yourself. You can go on YouTube, you can ask your tutors, you know, you could use study groups. All these things could help you boost your knowledge. Now that you're preparing for jam, you may probably be at home. YouTube should become your best friend. Use YouTube and learn and most importantly, don't hate physics, okay? There are various professions that use physics to thrive. Don't hate physics, love it and I don't see any reason why you will not score 90, 97 in, in physics this year, you know. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you for your time. If you got any value from this video, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any question from everything I've said, don't hesitate to leave it down in the comment section. Or any suggestion at all, any contribution, leave it down in the comment section. I love you all so much. And subscribe if you fall in love, you know. Thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.